Greetings from Edinburgh 500 Open Bible. My name is Sarah Mata, and I welcome you to your midweek meditation. This is how you know that your life is right, right? Your life is not right based on your comparison with somebody else at your age as your at your age group, or in your work setting, or in your um, you know uh, you know field you evaluate your life by the word of God. They're going to be judged not based on how much word you have in your head, but it's how much you have in your heart, right? Um, the word that was acted upon. What did you do with that that you received? And I, I, we were discussing some really serious matters of the heart that I, I probably, um, God kind of, I really feel a stirring to continue you know, and I was saying that God doesn't mind you having things. He minds things having you. You would be surprised that God will allow life, right? Just just a life to just, a, 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 a east wind will just blow and at pass and blow all of that. And then you would find that that which you were dependent on is now gone. And many people um, in those those serious moments of life they some of them you know they don't even make it because they're really and truly what was happening is their heart trusted in these things jesus was saying in um, matthew 10 37 he said he that loveth loves he that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And I was, I was, uh, I was sharing. The Holy Spirit was really teaching us um, that the, the Greek word there, the Greek meaning there, is uh, to be affectionate until, until the, the, you know, the love of God pierce and and hits you deep into your heart. Right until you 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 get to that place where the, the you 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 there's an inner witness of the Holy Spirit that you are a child of God, right? That you are you are loved of God. Paul said that the love of Christ, um, you know, it compels me, right? Not love for Christ, but the love of Christ. And and he was saying that I the reason why I go on in ministry, the reason why I endure shipwrecks and beatings and go through all types of problems um for christ and and come out on top you know the other side is because of a revelation of jesus's love for me john john 3 16 for god so loved the world do we really believe that <laughs> you know do we really believe that that god that god so loved me to, to meditate on that scripture for two weeks i mean really meditate on that scripture every day it, it, it will wreck you. Thank you for watching. We hope today's meditation blessed you. Wishing you a great week ahead.